Big development and the long running push to build a high speed rail from Houston to Dallas. Our senior digital producer Brittany Wilmore is live for us in the newsroom to fill us in. Hi Brittany. Hey, good morning. Texas Central Railway and Amtrak sure make it sound like those bullet train plans are back in business, announcing they've applied for federal grants to study the project and the line that would run from Houston to Dallas. But don't be mad at Texans if they don't believe the hype. In response to the story on our Instagram page, one person wrote, based on how long I-45 took, my great-great-grandbabies can be at the ribbon cutting. Another person said this should have been done years ago. Well, this has been talked about since 2012 with the promise that it'd be up and running by 2020, hence the skepticism. It's 2023 and still no tracks. In 2017, a firm was hired to work on the project's design and engineering, but the plan still got derailed. In 2020, the project was still missing necessary permitting applications. In 2021, it faced a legal challenge over land rights, through the, though the ruling ultimately went in Texas Central's favor to use eminent domain. And in 2022, Texas Central CEO left the company, saying he couldn't secure the agreements to move it forward. Now Amtrak's senior vice president came aboard in April of this year to focus on high-speed rail. The 240-mile route is still proposed to get people between Houston and Dallas in 90 minutes on a train, going 205 miles per hour, instead of sitting in traffic for about four hours. If it does get completed, developers say the project is estimated to remove 12,500 cars per day from I-45. Now, developers also claim it would bring thousands of well-paying construction jobs and nearly 1,000 long-term positions to the region. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany Wilmore, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.